One day, a man named Jairus came to see Jesus. He was very worried about his little girl because she was so sick. Jairus' daughter was 12 years old and he loved her very much. She was his only daughter. When Jairus saw Jesus, he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. Jairus knew that Jesus had the power to heal his daughter and save her from dying. Jesus started walking through the city to Jairus' house, but the crowds were pressing in on him, making it difficult for him to walk. A lady who had been sick for many years came up behind Jesus and touched the fringe on his coat. As soon as she touched it, she was healed of her sickness. <gasps> Jesus felt someone touch him. So he asked the crowds, Who touched me? The people in the crowd all said, Not me. Not me. Finally, the lady came to Jesus and said, I was the one who touched you. I have been sick for so long and no one else could help me. But now that I touched you, I am well. Jesus said, Your faith has made you well. Go your way in peace. While Jesus was still speaking, someone from Jairus' house came with bad news. They told Jairus that his daughter had died and not to bother Jesus anymore. Jairus was so sad. It had taken too long to get Jesus to his house. But Jesus said, Don't be afraid any longer. Only believe that she will be made well. When Jesus got to Jairus' house, there were people all around who were crying. Jesus told them, Don't be sad. She is not dead. She is only sleeping. The people snickered at Jesus because they knew that the little girl had died. Jesus went into the house with Jairus, Jairus' wife and Jesus' disciples, Peter, James and John. Everyone else waited outside. They went into the room where the little girl was lying. Jesus took her hand and said, Little girl, get up. Immediately, the little girl came back to life. Jesus told her parents to get her something to eat. They were amazed that Jesus had the power to bring someone back to life. In this story, Jesus healed a little girl with life. In our lives, Jesus heals us by giving us eternal life in heaven when we ask Him to be our Saviour.